federal government shutdown is impacting essentially everybody. Um, what's what's your take on it? I mean, it's unfortunate that the Democrats are putting uh, their own political interests and their desires to bash this president over the national interest. The American people voted for a president who advocated for border security, and uh, they ought to honor the will of the voters from 2016 and vote to give this president what is essentially a small amount of money to build this wall. Are you blaming the Democrats for the shutdown? I am blaming the Democrats for the shutdown. I think that their obstinance, their uh, desire to avoid a political victory for the president is causing this stalemate. The president has been ready, willing, and able to negotiate this. Uh, instead, uh, the, you know, the speaker-elect was in Hawaii. Uh, so the Republicans have been ready to solve this problem and would solve this problem. President Trump is the ultimate deal maker. He wrote a book about cutting deals. So the Democrats should work in good faith to cut a deal with the president. And do you think $5.7 is a small amount of money? Well, I mean, generally speaking, it's uh, in the larger scheme of the budget. And for what we're getting in exchange for that, which is a secure southern border, yes, it's a reasonable amount of money to spend to protect the American people. What would you say to people who, you know, they heard Trump campaign on Mexico paying for the wall and now government employees who feel like they're paying for the price? Yeah, that's a fair question. So uh, what the president has done is negotiated a better trade deal with Mexico. There are other ways that we have benefited from our relationship with Mexico. At the end of the day, uh, we're going to have to build this wall. We're going to have to have border security. And if the Democrats are making a point about uh, the campaign slogan, they ought to look past that and just try to solve this problem. So what would you say to those employees who feel like they're paying the price for the government shutdown? I have great sympathy for those people. I even know some folks who are impacted by this. So it's a shame. And I hope they're able to solve this problem. What I would tell them is that the president has been waiting in the White House to negotiate a fair end to this problem. And um, they should know that Republicans everywhere have sympathy for their plate. Um, anything else you want to say? Oh. Uh, another question. You know, um, a study came out uh, recently from the uh, I can't remember. It was an immigration. It's a government survey sure. that came out saying that most people who are here illegally are on expired work visas, didn't cross the border. I think it was about 70 percent. So, do you think that this is going to combat the immigration issue? The wall is going to combat the immigration issue, and the problem is people on expired visa, seemingly. I think it's one component. Border security is one component to what ought to be comprehensive immigration reform, uh, but it's an important component. So we don't walk away from one piece because the other piece is more broken. We should fix all of the pieces, and uh, we ought to work overtime to solve the immigration problem in a comprehensive way. But what's the holdup right now is a political game played by the Democrats to block this president from getting a political win, and for that, uh, they ought to uh, they ought to be ashamed. Do you think that him campaigning on Mexico paying for it was, um, I mean, that's a promise that isn't being kept? No, I think the promise will ultimately be kept. And I think once this wall is built, you'll see where the United States has done better with Mexico than we did under a previous administration. And look, some of this stuff gets very convoluted, but the fact of the matter is Donald Trump and the Republican Party in Washington has passed greater trade uh, deals with the Mexicans and with the world at this juncture, save China at the moment, but still better trade deals for the American people. There will be a savings of $5.6 in this for the American people. But I'll leave that to the Washington politicians to do the math about. I know as a local party chairman that our party uh, is about border security, and that's where we ought to be. Trump's called this a crisis, a national emergency even. Do you think that this classifies in a national emergency? You know, I don't, I don't, I can't say enough about what a national emergency is at my my local level, but uh, I'm going to support the president, as I know most Republicans are, and I'm here to speak on behalf of what I know Republicans are feeling, and they're feeling like our president is doing all he can to protect us. Would you support him even if it meant taking funds from FEMA? I, I don't know enough about the issue, candidly, to answer that question for you, May, so I haven't looked at that question for even one second. So I, I would be, it'd be improper for me to even begin to answer such a thing. Anything else you want to say? No, no, that? I'm good.